kids. My name is Mr. Rick, and we want to continue on with um, words from the Bible that describe God. Uh, we know that uh, there's power in the truth, and the truth we learn from the Bible, words. The word today is that God is eternal. And we're going to take that word from Psalm 90, verse 1 and 2. Irvin, would you read that for us? Sure thing. Psalm 90, verse 1 and 2. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. So, Irvin, how does, does that verse, everlasting to everlasting, how does that make you understand that God is eternal? Well, that verse helps me understand that God has always been there. Before the mountains were created, before the earth was even formed, God was always there. He always existed. Okay. So um, the fact that God is eternal would be that God is there even before time. So let's go outside. Jesus made pictures. He did parables when he taught in the Bible. Let's go outside and see if we can do a picture of a timeline that might let us know that God is eternal. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to have this timeline that we've put together. And we're going to start 4,000 years ago, which was 2,000 years before Jesus was born, Abraham. This is when Abraham was written in the Old Testament. And then we'll go here, and 1,000 years ago is when King David was, was born. So from 2,000 years to 1,000 years in time. And then here's another 1,000 years where Jesus was born. So this is zero on our calendar. And then we look and go clear over here 2,000 years later, 2,000 years after Jesus was born. Oh my goodness, look, Miss Christie was born. And 2020 is now where we are at today. So let me give you an example of what our life would be like in relation to this timeline. Anybody have a marshmallow gauge? Perfect. Okay, now what we're doing is we're gonna, we're gonna, if you take a marshmallow and you squeeze it between your fingers, mm, and it's so good, this is how big your life is in this timeline. Now when we talk about eternity, as far as you can go that way and keep on going and keep on going that's what God wants us to live with him forever and then if you go this way back 4,000 years we don't even know when creation was started but keep going and keep going as far as you can go and that's where God creates that's God was there when creation happened and he's been here forever and that's our timeline Okay, Power Kids, um, we have looked at the word eternal, and God loved us so much, he sent Jesus, that he wanted to give us eternal life. And so, Miles, as you think about what we've seen today, uh, how do you think Power Kids should follow up with this truth? Well, maybe we can like talk it over with our family over dinner or something and just read it when you get the opportunity. And then keep it fresh in your heart. That God is eternal, that God loves you, he sent Jesus for you, and he wants to be with you forever. Thank you.